few days ago I watched this Sinatra film called Maleficent showing a load full of pharaonic symbology to the worldwide community of man-haters of the Sisters of Isis in which the film tells us the story of Isis her best male friend betraying her by cutting her wings so she could so he could become king as a prize where the wing symbolized the female's freedom and liberty to fly away from man and her male friend and commoner standing for a male in general who are all searching for power over women by cutting her wings and then become a king as the reward for his betrayal thus spreading the message to the Isis witches community that a man is just an ugly little traitor with whom friendship is impossible because he would even sell his own mother for wealth and power controlling all women by cutting her wings of liberty and the timing is great with a huge war against that other Isis or Islamic State coming up and where men in Islam have far too much power in the male dominated world of Islam and as everyone loves watching Hollywood films, well, what better medium is there to spread a message and announce war on the Muslim patriarch, just as they got rid of the Jewish patriarch 70 years ago and organized by the motherland of the Sisters of Isis in the Alps, as I've proven to you in my film Auschwitz Made in Switzerland. And to sell an idea, hatred or a war, you need to have a good product to go with it and indeed Maleficent is a beautiful film well made with fantastic images and superb music by Lana Del Rey and her song Once Upon a Dream yes once a dream and now reality and remind you that Angelina Jolie playing Isis openly admits her bisexuality, lesbian relationships, BDSM, bondage, sadomaso, and just as Isis, her boss, Sethon, Seton, Seten, or Baphomet, she has had all her female organs cut out, including her breasts, thus becoming an it, similar to Baphomet being and andro androgynous who knows in what satanic ritual her female organs ended up actually it says bisexuality BDSM um, well this is in Wikipedia about Angelina Jolie yeah, relationship and marriages in Wikipedia she fell in love with another actress Jenny Samichu it was love at first sight Wow, well, fantastic, isn't it? So it says too, she, she liked rituals of like cutting herself and feeling the pain. Then she felt alive. Now, probably the same thing, you know, having cut in her and, and take all the uh, the female organs away. You know, it started quite early, you know, cutting herself. So it's part of the thing. So this is her father, John Voigt. Who was all the time chasing other women, apparently. Well, probably the best thing to do in this situation. Yeah, it says too, she had written the groom's name in her blood. So, you know, these kind of people, you know, the forces of darkness, you know, like to work with, like broken people. And so, no wonder she played this role of uh, Maleficent. Well, and all this is in Wikipedia. Putting in the links for you. Sponge pause. And yes, the Isis horns with the sun disc are in fact the female sexual organs where the title and angel's name starts with male as in maleficent or maleficent towards which the energy of the film is directed to the males 
and Angelina Jolie means in fact beautiful little angel, just as the character by the name of Maleficent she is playing. The devil, Sethon, Seton, or Set Setan, is a man, but the horned hand symbolizes next to the horned viper, in fact, Isis and the Isis horns of the sisters of Isis. And the horned hand you can see her doing in the film, and the animated children's version, with no age restriction, it says, on the cover of both versions. Fabulous, isn't it? Well, what a charming name for a children's movie of Walt Disney, Maleficent. It means harmful or evil in intent or effect, causing or cap capable of producing evil or mischief, harmful or baleful, prone to evil, evil or harmful, malicious, Maleficent. Well, such a charming name indeed, eh? So the little children, they can, use, they can get used to the idea of Maleficent. So later on, when they're already used to it, you know, they can start using it you know, and doing it. Maleficent, harmful or evil in intent or effect. Well, that's really charmful of Mr. Walt Disney, eh? A children movie. Isn't that cute? It's all about the Horus Matrix and killing of the Patriarchy being Maleficent's final solution. Well, how does a witch kill a man? Well, she sets them up against each other, so they'll murder each other like the traditional Cain and Abel, which is in fact the story of the Horus Matrix, brothers killing brothers in endless wars without end, and with their base Switzerland getting richer after each war. Well, why else do you think it says male here? Male, a man. And this is Isis. The Isis horns. You know, what does Isis want? You know, well, she wants the male. You get it? Here, just read this. It's an old Swiss fairy tale about the Horus Matrix. This is what Mal Maleficent really is. This is what it's about. And here, at the end of the film, where she got her wings back, you know, her freedom, she got her back victory. The wings is also victory. Only for those who understand, so this is in the castle, you can see the coat of arms of the aristocracy, of the pharaohs. That means they are behind it, you know, they're part of it. Isis, this is Isis, with the Isis horns. And this is the, the aristocracy, or the aristocracy, And the, the, the pharaohs became the aristocracy. It's all one thing, you see. So, Maleficent will indeed open up the gates of hell. Then why do you think beautiful little angel with no female organs escaped to France with total chaos and civil war coming up in the US? You have to watch this film about Sleeping Beauty I made last year in 2013, also October. That it's in fact all about uh, initiation. The kiss is. And of course the Walt Disney producer of Maleficent was a high degree Freemason. Who loved that pharaonic Cinderella sleeping beauty tale of the sisters of Isis. Being initiated with a kiss by that prince of darkness from the Alps. <laughs>